Online betting games like poker, blackjack and roulette are a huge moneymaker online for companies. They've been experiencing a recent boom due to Twitch streamers' newfound interest in them, along with their sudden pushing of cryptocurrencies which they have been controversially pushing fans to buy and then suddenly pulling out of themselves. Sounds a lot like a Ponzi scheme to me, Bob, but influencers are always honest, right? Eh, uh, right? Chat, by the way, that MILF token shit I did a while back, I already told you guys, don't buy that shit. I got paid a bag to do that shit. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck. I hope none of you guys actually bought it. <laughs> I have a little insight into online poker as I used to present fun street interviews for a popular poker brand. My own experience was very good. It helped me get more experience doing box pops on the street and the company I worked directly with were hassle free and all my interactions were really positive. I did, however, get a little insight into a very unusual aspect of these games. In some countries and cities where online dating is banned, like India, these interactive games are especially popular as they're actually great places for folks to meet and even fall in love. It was common knowledge that this was the primary objective of lots of individuals who signed up to these apps. However, it seems that potentially something more sinister may be going on with some gambling game sites. TikTok users like Carla Peoples 101 and Ty the Crazy Guy have recently been sharing footage of games in which live dealers almost all female seem to be falling asleep and even pass out right in front of the camera. They mostly stem from a site called Rubet, which has been banned in the USA due to net ent restrictions. However, since the dawn of VPNs, banned simply makes accessing the site an enticing challenge for many. The individual live dealers are rotated out and are available to play the game with you and interact with you 24-7. The women and one man that I could find are frequently seen to be fighting sleep. I mean, okay, it happens sometimes, you're overworked and exhausted and sometimes you have to just push through that, right? It's worth noting too that many of the dealers have Eastern European accents. I tried really hard to find an address as to where the streams are filmed, but I couldn't. Working conditions are definitely worse in parts of Eastern Europe though, so it's possible that the dealers are very tired and possibly hungry. But so, so many are almost passing out in these live streams, it's brought some to question how voluntary their participation is at all. Oh, did I say almost passing out? Well, we have evidence that one actually did on a live stream. Notice the reaction of the other dealer behind her in this video and as she's removed by the men who enter en masse is taken off camera, ask yourself why they're also picking up the chair. Surely you'd just carry the girl and give her medical assistance, but many have wondered if the reason for this is that she was in fact attached to the chair for some reason. Is the other dealer behind her reluctant to get up because she wants to keep the show going or has she been physically restrained to also not leave her seat? It could be either. Another controversial aspect of the game is how some dealers are always keeping their masks on, with some speculating that if the worst case scenario is possible and these individuals are not there of their own accord, are the individuals who stay masked that way as they are recognisable from high profile disappearances. One individual who looked to be fighting Streep was compared to a photo of missing girl Lauren Spearer who went missing in 2011. Lauren's family have stated that they don't believe that the individual is Lauren, but have forwarded the video to the authorities who were already looking into it. While I do think that it's a very long shot despite the resemblance, I would like these women or the company to directly address the conspiracy theories and assure the public that there is nothing sinister going on. Until then, as far-fetched as the notion may seem, we have no assurance that the worst isn't possible. It very much is. Until we speak again, sending you good vibes. Stay safe out there.